All right, so we're back in Paris. We're back home. And if you guys don't know, last mission, I finally finished the Dead Kings DLC for this game. And uh, yeah, we're going to continue with some side missions here. And I got to say that the best way I could probably start off, you know, doing more missions in Paris is by doing a murder mystery. One of my favorite side missions in this game. And uh, yeah, let's just get right into it. All right. It really feels nice to uh, to be back, honestly. Being able to see Notre Dame in the background. Oh. Already starting bad. There we go. All right, so we're going to be doing the Red Ghost of the Two Larrys. Solve the mysterious death in the corridors of power. So it's going to be a level four difficulty. So it's going to be a good one. It's going to be it's going to be a difficult one for sure. All right, so uh, this is already kind of giving me feels of like those real murder mysteries, like murder mystery house. Is that what you call it? Uh, house murder mysteries. There we go. Like something you would see like in Sherlock Holmes or something. Oh, I just realized there's going to be 14 tips here in the office itself. Jesus. Or clues, not tips. So she was having an affair with this guy. So would I assume that this man right here is the husband? Oh, no, it's not. This is the person that she was having an affair with. Okay, so, okay, okay. So it's becoming a type of uh, murder mystery where, you know, the husband is the jealous type. And he could have gone for uh, the kill, you know. Yeah, so if it wasn't clear enough, uh, it was definitely a violence at death that this guy uh, had. Alright, so that's 8 out of 14. Alright, so there's also people outside that we can talk to. Oh, we got this. All right, interesting. So, uh, this one I thought th that was going to be the last clue in this office. We see, like, some blood over here. Yep, and I think that's officially the last uh, clue we have uh, in this office. All right. I've actually overheard many very ghostly noises, and even the ghost speaking, through that very door. 
Baudouin, alone in the room, and the ghost speaking with a terrifying accent. I've heard this several times. Terrifying accent. All right. We just now heard a shot. We all ran to find out what happened. I believe it was the red ghost. A few nights ago, I saw the ghost myself. I turned a corner and saw him disappear right through this door. Dressed in red with an unutterably horrific expression. So what's coming to mind right now is that the killer could be a case where like he's hiding in the walls. Counselor to director of finance, Baudouin. He locked himself in his office well over a day ago. For some weeks, he's been in a state of agitation. It's very sad that it ended this way. The legend must be true. Long ago, a Bavarian murderer was executed nearby, and his red ghost has haunted this palace to this day. Have you seen the painting? It appeared from nowhere just yesterday. Wait, okay, so the painting, this painting right here is the one that appeared yesterday. All right, so this is very interesting. So yeah, what I meant by earlier that he's hiding in the walls most likely, or from what it kind of points to, is that, because I doubt it's going to be an actual ghost, let's be honest now, is that maybe around here somewhere, there's like secret entrances that the guy is going through, you know, and uh, he talks to these people through the vents, making it seem that it's an actual ghost, but maybe it's not. That's what I'm getting from right now. All right, so there's got to be seven locations that we got to visit. I think this is the most locations we got to visit in a murder mystery in general. So this is, yeah, this mission is definitely going to be very interesting. It's already very interesting. Okay. Jesus. All right, so I would assume that most of these locations are inside the palace. Oh, it's not. Okay. All right, so they're kind of scattered all over the place. Yeah, they're all over the map, if anything. All right, so honestly, the first one we're going to go to is this one right here, right outside the courtyard. And check that place out. If I could find a window. Are there really no windows around here that, that are actually open? I guess not. Should be right above us. Yeah, in, in the inside, I didn't actually see like any stairwells to go upstairs. Unless I missed something. Oop, did I mean to do that? Unless this whole thing is like meant to be like the whole building, the whole building is the objective. We're supposed to find clues. No, I doubt it though. I think there is a second uh a second floor we gotta get to. Very weird. Oh, 
Yeah, I don't actually see an entrance. I don't think you can even enter this building right here, the one next to it. Alright, so I guess we're going to come back to this building eventually. I'm going to go into another uh, another place real quick. Let me actually uh, check out the map. Oh, we can actually go right here. Oh, no, that's uh, that's where we were just at. Okay. That's where we were located. Uh, we could go to this one right there. At first, when we had all seven locations, I thought they were going to be inside the palace itself. These are just enter the window, Arno. <laughs> Snaps bottles. What's snaps? Huh. All right, so I guess the dude basically hired a detective to spy on the on a, on his wife, in a sense. be very very jealous but he isn't the sort of man to kill anybody i don't know in the letter she did mention he was kind of like raging out and very upset so i do not answer to members of the working class all right so this is the man's wife that that's the wife all right so this is uh this is very interesting that's we got to meet them, and the guy didn't really uh, want to talk to us. You know what that means? Normally, in previous missions, when the uh, when a person didn't want to talk to us, that means that uh, it's most likely him. Let's check that place out. I'm still I'm still like trying to figure out how to enter this place. All right, so after that, we have looking around the map, making sure that there's no others. Yeah, because I don't think this is seven, right? Oh, it is seven. I guess I don't know how to count. Okay. Yeah, this murder mystery is probably going to be one of the longest uh, missions or murder mysteries we've done. I just feel it. We just walk into, all right. Honestly, the plot is thickening like crazy. It's become like a whole conspiracy.
Well, that's the same ones we found at the office. All right, so this proves that there isn't an actual ghost, that it's basically a ruse. And maybe, just maybe, I know this is a really far stretch. The descendants of the person that was killed, the Tulare, I believe that's his name. Or the ghost of the Red Tulare, maybe their descendants decided to create this whole ruse, uh, you know, throughout the ages, you know. In a sense, to haunt the the Tulare. <laughs> or maybe I'm wrong. Oh, I see. I understand now. Okay, so this is the home of the person that uh that was killed. Okay. All right, this is very interesting. I honestly don't even know what to think anymore. I'm like kind of confused. Not confused, but I'm like kind of lost. They're doing a really good job here. Like my number 2, well, my number 1 suspect is uh of course the husband. And maybe the wife. That could be like very far fetched. I don't do business with extortionists. Get away. That's a second floor, but I'm looking for a window first. Jesus. I remember this place. Yeah, there there used to be like a window opened right there. Like you could bribe this uh, maid and she would let you up there. If this place leads us all the way over there. We have here. I don't care. You owe me. But I have no money. Please shut up while I beat oh. you to a bloody pulp. I know I said this before, but I'm going to say it again. The plot is thickening. At this point in time, it might not even be the killing out of a jealousy. It could be the killing of, like, you know, trying to get back their money. He lost everything. He'd like to some gambling. His bank is furious. He owes his credit a thousand. Someone was cheating, but who? Jesus. Okay. Okay. Yeah. This is this is getting very very interesting. All right. So, uh, I think this is our fourth. This is our fifth location. 
This is our fifth location. We have uh, this one left and then the one we couldn't get into. I'm kind of worried now that, uh, that if we don't find a way into this place, then, you know, what, what's going to happen? All right, cool, cool, cool. All right. Now we're back on the mission to finding an open window. I guess I'll just have to go back the way I came in. And I guess I was going the right way. <laughs> Oh, this is our fourth location, not our fifth one. Okay. Honestly, the, the whole rain and the cloudy skies now is like just fitting the whole environment at this point. The whole mission itself fits perfectly. So it says Apothecary Shop Who's One. Yes, I made that elixir. It's just a few herbs tossed together to make something that stinks. A wealthy fellow, Baudouin, came in, wanted something to keep spirits away. I told him he was a fool, but he paid well enough for me to concoct this. All right, so yeah, the elixir we found so far in the victim's house and uh, in the office itself belonged to the victim himself that so wasn't used to kill him unless it was tampered with all right so this should be our fifth one completed yeah club's location is vis or clue locations visited fifth out of seven so where's the seventh one because i mean this is the only one we have left right so that's three that's three. Oh yeah there is one more missing Oh, you know what this could be? Okay, yeah, maybe like once we like figure out how to get in here, it's gonna lead us to the final location. All right, let's go. Uh, let's go try and uh, see what we can do over there. I kind of, I find it kind of odd that one of the locations we visited. Is not highlighted with any clues even though we found like six clues so maybe it's a glitch there that we've only visited five and it's supposed to be six instead that could also be the case no that wouldn't make sense because yeah it's only six locations in total right on the map that we can see Yeah, like I don't see any any way up there at all. It's like this door is meant to be open. Probably. All right, yeah, I'm going to go back into the rooftop and see uh, see what I'll find over there. No, because there wasn't even a door around. Oh, there it is. Well, there was a hatch on the rooftop. All right.
couldn't even read that thing. So maybe I was right. Wait, okay, so okay, so this is kinda adding up a bit. So he's the descend he's the descendant of the guy who got killed in, in the palace. So maybe it is a ruse, you know? Maybe there's that too. It says the walls behind his office. So that could also lead to one of my theories being correct. You know, that maybe the person, the culprit, is actually hiding behind the walls of the palace itself and the office. Uh, where's the ladder again? We got out of here. Oh, there it is. All right, so, yeah, that's our seventh or sixth uh, place that we visited. All right, so let me see the map again and uh, make sure that there isn't anything left. All right, so, uh, that's not it. We have this one already completed. Oh, these things are the accused, the people we can accuse. No wonder it didn't show here, because uh, there's no one we can accuse there. All right, so yeah, th those are six locations. We we got one more missing. We got one left. I gotta scan the map real quick, make sure that uh. There isn't any location that I didn't look at. Yeah, I don't see it anywhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the office and uh, work from there. I'm going to, yeah, I'm just going to go back to the office and uh, see if there's anything back there again. I'm, I, I'm pretty sure I got everything. I did get all 14 clues. So there's that. But uh, I'm just going to go back there just in case it triggers something. And if not, then I'm just going to go and review all of the, uh, all of the clues we've uh, obtained so far. For some reason, uh, my controller just like gave me a weird vibration when I passed through here. Normally that happens when uh, there's like a clue around here somewhere. Yeah, it happened around here. Oh, shit. So this is the final location. <laughs> Dude, I've been here like looking around this whole palace for maybe 15 minutes. No, not 15 minutes, like 12 minutes, you know, more or less. 
but it was basically right behind the actual office. Jeez, I didn't even notice this window right here until right now. I was honestly about to give up and just start, you know, reading uh, the clues to get my final verdict. But Jesus, all right, I'll take it. All right, so secret room, red garment, a garment made from red cloth. All right, so I guess I was right partially. Well, I guess I was right. You know, he like the the person that's responsible for this is hiding behind the walls in a different room. But all right, so yeah, this is uh, this is very interesting. So my number one suspect went from the husband to the descendant of the person that was killed. You know, in the mansion. So that's my number one suspect at the moment. So yeah, I'm going to go back to the office if I can. There's a window back here. Pretty sure I saw like an open window around here somewhere. And I'm going to start uh, reading the uh, the clues again to see if I can get my final verdict. I'm, a, I'm at about like 52 minutes at this point in time with this episode. So this is definitely the longest murder mystery I've ever done. And uh, it's actually pretty interesting. I'm enjoying it so far. All right. So uh, let me actually go to database and uh, check this out. Case files. All right. So like normal, I'm going to start from the very beginning. You guys could follow along and read with me. Oh, my God. There's a lot. Wait, Harvey Gale, isn't that the, uh, yeah, that's the descendants, the guy who was murdered, not the one who was murdered right now, but the one who was murdered in like 1520 something, I think. Yeah, that guy, Johannes Metziger.
Yeah, so this guy right here was the assistant to the guy that was just murdered, right? He was the assistant, but the thing is that he was also the descendant of Johannes, the man who was originally murdered in 1561. So I would assume that he was the one who was making a rouse of the whole Ghost of Tulares thing, but it was actually him. And what I'm thinking right now is that he must have, like, had something to do with, like, the financial, you know, gamble that, that was going on. That we learned that uh, the, the victim was in. Or that he was the assistant that was trying to take over for the victim, you know, like take his spot in it. If I'm making any sense, you know, so I'm pretty much saying that maybe he is the actual uh, murderer. I'm still, I'm still putting up here the uh, the husband and also the the guy, the main dude for the gambling thing. So those are the three main people that I have right now. But I think uh, the descendant is Legal is uh, definitely winning the race right now. Yeah, and that's also one of the red pistols that was, that was missing in the gambling uh in the gambling place we visited. Yeah, right there. That's one of them. Yeah, so this is basically confirming it. So, in a sense, this is one of the biggest reasons that he would want to replace um, the victim. Yeah, I think with this, I've. Uh, I think I got my killer. Yeah, yeah, I think I got my killer here. I think it's uh, definitely the assistant. I'm going to put my money on that. And uh, not just that, but I mean, then again, the assistant was the only person that could get close to this man right there. So there's that. Um, I want to know where uh, he's actually located, though. I'm looking for on the map. Like, I, I forgot which one was the assistant. Like where he was located, what area? I was locked in the office over a day. All right, so I'm just going to go talk to them again and uh, see which one gives me that uh, that quote. I've actually overheard many very ghostly noises. No, it's not that guy. The legend must be true. My name is Legal. Legal, all right, yep. Director of finance. You're coming with me, buddy. He locked himself in his office well over a day ago. He was a weak man. I'd make a far superior director of finance. It was for the good of the country. Yeah, I'm actually getting pretty good at this, you know. 
you know at first i could i, I would have definitely you know guessed that it was the husband as a jealousy type story and uh the main motive for the murder but uh I really like how this murder mystery really just went out of its way and just created this whole background story to like the whole thing, you know, and it, it wasn't just about the red ghost of the Tularius. It became about gambling debts, it became about, you know, assistants wanting to take over. I really like that, you know, so, uh, and even the, uh, the whole, uh, thing about having an affair as well, you know, that was put in there. For God's sake, he killed himself. Why am I here? I mean, he was pressured to do it, so, yeah. I'm not altogether certain it wasn't the ghost, but someone has to be brought to trial. Take what you like. Alright, so let's see what we get. What's the reward? Follow up on what you found. That's, we got the fancy pistol. Let's actually check that out. I kind of wonder if we can get, like, the red pistol that was uh, shown right there. That would have been pretty cool. If we do, fancy pistol. Oh, it's this one. That doesn't look that fancy. Oh, well. I'm probably not going to be using it, but I will confirm this before I do end the video that this murder mystery is probably my favorite murder mystery in the entire game. It was honestly very fun. It was one of the longest as well. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did. It was pretty fun. And uh, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next time. Peace.